Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, okay, so this is what we are going to be creating. You can see on your screen that what uh, what is this? This is basically a prison model that you can use anywhere if you want to use it. This is the visual that I had created uh, through the prison in a video, a video screenshot that you are seeing on your screen. And this is the behind the scene. Uh, uh, short on after effects now we will be starting now take a uh, plane and extract it extract uh, as much as you can take a mesh cube and make a wall okay extract a bit more Okay, so make copy of it and rotate and shift it to this side. Okay. You can adjust by yourself whatever you want to adjust it, uh, but adjust it once if you have adjusted, you can you can move forward. Okay. Take a cylinder, make it small. This will be the bars that will be uh, in the jail, in the prison, the prison bars. Take a cylinder and throw it edit mode. Extract it, but I think it should be more smaller. Okay, and now I'm going to place it. Make a copy of it. Another one. Uh, another one, I guess. But this uh, will be strong, so I will just make it shorter because this will be the prison door that will help the prisoner to move out or in okay for I uh, enough now I will use this wall again and place it here okay that's but uh, moving forward uh, I will be also showing you guys that how you can create a material uh, for the prison. But right now, I'm just going to make this uh, a metal bar, a metal bar in which the the bars, a metal bar of uh, a thick, in which the bar will be placed. Yeah. So set yourself set your work throughout this will be the smaller because it will only be on the gates when it opens place it down one more I need uh, okay now I'll copy it go in edit mode sorry okay again okay edit mode make it smaller okay you you got your uh, one prison make it smaller and you got it place it here okay I think it will be much okay much now okay guys now I'm to I'm going to unwrap the my shapes for the wall texture because I need to put the texture as well before moving forward 
I have to uh, mark the seams. Basically, marks marking seams are when you place a texture, you want it to uh, wrap perfectly. The texture should be placed perfectly in the in the mesh. So before doing that, you have to mark the lines, mark the shape. Now, uh, whatever shapes you are using, you have to mark it because afterwards there, it will be very very difficult for you to do it again and again and again because it will blend your process. So before moving forward, make sure you do it. Now I have some textures in my folder. I will be using it. Uh, okay, now it's not here. I'll go back in uh, my previous folder, previous prison folder that I had made. Okay. So yes, I got these three. Now one is uh, the base image, base color. Okay, and there is normal map and roughness. Okay, first let me save the file because I haven't. Okay, now let's begin. Normal map, uh, I will be using the vector normal map node, and I'm going to place it here for 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 the for the realistic uh, feeling that you get the texture. You can feel it. So you must use normal map and roughness for for the roughness in the texture. Now I'm going to set the texture. Okay, so let's me this material node and I have unwrap it and now I'm to, I'm going to play with the UV. Set the texture perfectly because it it, it, it is uh, stretched. Okay. If you are new to this, so you have to do some experiments by yourself because uh, until unless if you don't do that you won't get an idea of how textures are uh, basically used now I have set my node editor uh, notes are set you can play with these settings however you, if you want to this edges uh, doesn't matter right now because we will cover that with uh, another wall that will be on the upside okay so I have to set this also I'm going to unwrap it and I'm going to scale it up, rotate it, and if you press A on a keyboard you you select all of it and just press S and you scale it up, see the textures, the texture, the lines that it follow. Okay, I'm gonna delete this. And I'm going to make the copy of it and place it there. I'm gonna also put textures in these bars. Now, in my previous prison, I uh, also had made a uh, beds and the what do you say, commode what you use for the bathroom because in the prisons there are bathroom fitted and the beds are also as well uh, but right now I am not making the beds I'm just making the prison because it's a very lengthy process uh, you are seeing this in 35 minutes basically this is 35 minutes tutorial and of course you cannot cover all of this in in 35 minutes but yes, I'm going to give you basic, a basic general idea of how you can do this. Rotate it. And uh, okay, so place it here. Set as as you want to set your mesh. Uh, right now, I'm just showing you guys how you can basically do it. Okay, so let me set the texture for the bars. Um, before starting, you should also download or make your textures first and set it, it, it in your folder. Because when you are working, you you 
want to search again and again on the Google or from the Texture's website, find it out before starting. Uh, save all of your textures of what you are making, so it will be like best for you and easy for you to do some do the work uh, in a proper manner systematically just copy the notes and place it uh, in the mesh okay so, so this, this the thing you are seeing right now it, it happens sometimes because the notes are copied uh, when you paste it you paste it the previous texture that doesn't look good so I'm right now in the mood of pasting it but so I'm just doing it okay done well you can play with the textures whatever if you want to you can use hard surface textures or lower or you can download any other textures from the internet whatever you like it just stop it and paste okay guys select all this and Control C, Control V on a keyboard and place it and make copies of it. I guess my plane is a bit short. I have to extract it and the wall, I have to extract it. Well, there are some flaws you can see here but uh, by the time you can do it you can solve all of this now this is how it looks in the material preview okay uh, now there are a lot of variations that you can do uh, in the floor texture or you can place a texture on the floor but right now I'm not uh, using any textures you know, on the floor but basically you can do the variations if you want to I'm going to place this mesh here I'm going to extract it this will be the, 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 the floor the second floor you can see from the top side press 7 on your numpad you can, you can see the top side place your mesh here and uh, the same thing I'm doing with this unwrapping. Well, uh, you need to unwrap all the all the mesh if you want to put the textures. We uh, have all the textures in your in your folder. You need to unwrap all of it because that's how things work. Copy it, all of it, and place it here. Okay. Now another copy it the third floor now it all depends how many floors if you want to make it uh, how how large how big your prison you are imagining it so it all depends on your work now I'm gonna take a, a cylinder I'm gonna make it shorter this will be the pillars that I want to make it you can see the pillars uh, in the video that I showed you earlier uh, how the pillars are so now I'm going to make this uh, pillar and I'm also going to okay now delete it I'm also going to unwrap it before making copies of it and I'm also going to uh, I'm also going to place the texture in this so that's how this how is going to be now I have unwrapped this and let's place it okay, so let it load it. it takes time you can see the texture it, it uh, to paste the notes copy it and paste it you got your texture now play with the UE until the texture is placed perfectly uh, on the mesh so you can see that how I unwrapped the 
UV of the mesh. I'm going to make it shorter. You can see the how UV sets. Uh, still, it, it 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 it's not good. I have to set it. Okay. Select this. Extract because when you extract your tensions, that's yeah. Okay guys, this is enough for right now. I'm not going to play with more. Copy this and place it them. It all depends how number of pillars you want in your prisons or the model that you are making. Cube. This will be the the, the bars, the, the, the bars, side bars that are basically for the safety. Now you can follow any any prison references or uh, from the internet if you want to make it. Right now I'm just put, putting this randomly. I'm not going to set, set this straight because I'm just explaining you uh, showing you guys how you can make this resume but it all depends on how you want things to be now this will be the shorter or the longer but before that I have to uh, set the material in this okay so let's set the material this is something Okay, so um, you might not like the color skin that I'm right now using it, but you can do it by yourself. Whatever you like. Okay, whenever you see this pink, it means that there is no texture or you have the material in it. The material is missing or it does not uh, reflect your, your mesh. So you have to make some changes in it or you have to make a new material to replace this pink or black okay so we have set our material in, the, in this uh, for the safe side the best the best thing is that work in solid mode if, uh, set your material in the shading and then come back to your uh, layout and work in the solid most because it, it works very fast because when you work with the materials uh, it it makes your 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 workspace more slower because it needs a higher graphics card because for that you need for the safe side you need to work in the solid so whatever you, uh, you are making right now or you are following me make sure you are you set every material materials in your smash it makes your work more fast rather than making everything and setting your material again and again and again like it, it's it's too much lengthy and it, it makes you exaggerated you know you 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 don't want to do that so that's how it's going to be set your material every mesh that you make it with a planning, with a, yeah, sure. With the planning, without that, you cannot do that. Okay, I'm just going to take this. And shorter. This will the the, the bars. Uh, it says in center of these, the, these you can see the metal bars that we had made. This will be in the center, yeah. holding this. You can delete the material afterwards because I'm like now oh, I'm just showing you guys how this can be. Okay. Delete the notes and copy another one, black or something. If you want to use uh, the material from the internet, or you can. It all depends. Uh, now okay, I have copied these two. All copy all of this and duplicate them and put it down. Okay, 
Sometimes it takes hour and hour and to do to, to do these things. Now I have made all of this. Now I'm going to make a copy of it and select all all of this except camera, light, and the plane that we had put beneath all of this. And copy all this and duplicate, rotate this, rotate from the top. You can see the how much it it it, it uh, reflects all all. So copy this and place it here but uh, it also depends how much space you want uh, between the two two prison buildings okay I'm, I'm just going to strike this in the edit mode select okay it's not going to work. okay extract this this is here this will be and this will be the, the bridge between the between these two. Go in edit mode and do as same with this. Cut it into half and extract. Okay. Edit loads. It takes time. Okay, you can see the shading mode. Now it's back. Okay. Now we have to also make uh, also have to make staircase for the prison because you doubt that you uh, it doesn't look good how how we can how you can reach the top floor. So for that, I'm going to take, you know, I'm going to take a mesh. Okay, and make it smaller and expect it. Rotate. Not this side, but this side. Okay, and put it down. See how this sets here. Okay, now oh, this is where uh, you can see that it, it's like a slide. You don't need to make it like a slide. But you can play with this. Uh, it all, it all, like how much time you have on this. Now, this let's set it first. Take this and uh, it, it does make things more exaggerated. And you can do well, a lot of things if you want to do it. You can change, uh, you can create more lines or play with the mesh. But right now, I'm just showing you guys how you can. Yeah. It doesn't matter right now because the steps that we are going to be creating uh, it will hide all of these details and the material which we'll be using will also hide all of this. Take mesh again and make it smaller. like a step 
this down Copy of it, select the four. Place it up and move it forward. You can set it by yourself if you. Uh, uh, it all depends how how much uh, how many steps there are in, in on the staircase. You can set it by manually. There are there is also a modifier you can use to do this but right now I'm not using it I'm just placing them manually this it takes time but once you have made this the first staircase you can make the copies of it because every floor you make uh, has a certain certain height uh, you know consistency the, what I'm talking about the consistency of height that you follow on every floor so your staircase will be used uh, on any on every floor now we have made this but I think uh, I also have to make the material but before that I have to hide all of this it's not better yeah let's set this first um, select all of the all of the steps and go in edit mode and select all the lines I want the I want these lines to be hidden so let's let's play with this see how does it looks okay this these are not good now push this inside and more now you can see they we covered all of it they are hidden and the staircase is now okay Select all and control P on the keyboard. Select object to make this parent all of our parent. Once I now I will be making the bars. Take one. I think it's larger. I'm just going to make this smaller a bit after placing it. Okay now. This is placed. Let's make it smaller. Okay. This takes off a lot of time to copy all of this and make this. Uh, every single time you have to do this but once you have done a uh, one side you can make a copy of it place it on another side when at first I was making this prison I had no idea of how I uh, how the things will be I had no idea that how I can make this but when I started to making it I had the visualized image in my mind that how things will be how I want it to be 
uh, I'm just taking this bar and I'm going to take this and I'm going to make it smaller and I'm going to rotate this I did Okay, now oh, it's, it's cross right? so. It's perfect yet Just down Wait, let's make it smaller It's looking It's going <laughs> beneath the floor that I don't want it make sure you to place it perfectly okay so make it big oh, okay now it that is the top one you make sure it's hidden in the last metal bar now make it copy and place it upside and we also may want to make cover all this so for that I'm going to I'm going to take this and rotate this bit much follow follow these steps uh, step by step that I'm doing right now and you'll get your model if you want to make it if you if you need to make another one or uh, a different one you can now I'm just going to copy this and place it here. Now there are a lot of mistakes that you are seeing right now and by the time if you have a time you can do it. Of course I am not able to do this in, in this short of time. But uh, you can play with this make it smarter, perfect. So guys, I'm just going to select all the staircase, all the things, all the meshes that I have used and I'm going to make the copy, Control C and Control V on my keyboard and move this out of prison. Rotate. Okay, and take back on the second floor to third floor. Bring it down. I think it's, it's up, uh, a bit more. Now we can see that uh, the th th third floor we had made it. It it's not. It's like it's too much. I have to also set this. You just have to select this mesh and go and edit mode, select the face and bow this backward. Okay, you got this. You can do the, the cover thing if you want to. So guys this was the prison model that I have made so catch you in the next file make sure you do it take care